All right, folks, Vince and Rose here, Isolation Sessions number five coming at you from my isolation quarters. <laughs> so getting a little frazzled here, keeping the beard, isolation, why not? What the hell? Let's take it easy. Uh, so with that, we're going to do some Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive, uh, a la Cake. So if you haven't seen Cake's version of this song, I would go check it out. It is awesome. But it kind of takes this song in some new levels. Uh, it's a great song acoustically to jam out around the fire. People don't expect it or clubs, that type of stuff. Great to do with a rock band as well. I played this in a band I was in called Mosey Bohica a few years ago, three piece, uh, one of our staple tunes. If anybody remembers Mosey, it'd be great to hear a comment from me in the, in the bottom there. It's been a while since we played together. Here's, I'm gonna run through a power chord verse and then an open chord verse and show you some of the dynamics and things I do with the song and then come back and break it down nice and slow and close and show you what's going on. And now I will shut up and play the song, all right. I was afraid, I was petrified I kept thinking I could never live without you by my side And then I spent so many nights wondering how you'd done me wrong I grew strong, I learned how to get along So you're back from outer space I just walked in to find you here with that old look upon your face I should have changed my fucking law I would have made you leave your key up Back to bother me, go now. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. Aren't you the one who tried to kill me? Kill me with desire. You think I crumble? You think I lay down and die? You just keep going over and over that progression. I threw in the open chords there, but you do one or the other, whatever works for you. Uh, it's a great one to jump the octave on the vocals if you can do it, or just keep it mellow and quiet as well. So here's the chords. So let's start with uh, Mr. A minor. So um, we'll do the bar chords first. So the progression is A minor. At first I was afraid to a B minor. If you don't know these, I'm not going to call them out individually. It'll take me individually. It'll take me forever. So I was petrified. I kept to a G, thinking I could never live. To an A, to a C, without you by my side. To an F, and then I spent so many nights. To a B, wondering how you'd done me wrong. To an E, I grew strong. And I put in an e, E7, I learned how to get along. Or you can strong, I knew how to get along. So that's like the, the Hendrix sort of, <laughs> Hendrix E9, 7, whatever that thing is. Uh, I use it quite a bit, but it's a good. And then you just kind of go through the progression. So part of it, on the bar, on the bar chords, you get more of a chick, chick, chick. So I'll get the kind of rhythm. kind of groove, right? Get that feel happening. And even on the minor, just a just a hammer. Little pick slide, pick slides. that called? I don't know what that's called. Do a lot of that. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Whatever you want to do to kind of mix it up. Uh, the chords on the country chord style, if you don't have the fingers for the bar chords, it's an A minor, again here, to a D minor, and then to a G chord, to a C chord, to an F, and to a B, but I do a B7, I cheat a bit, and then to an E. At first I was afraid, I was petrified, D minor. I kept thinking, G, can never live to see without you by my side. And then I spent so many nights wondering to a B7, 
I grew strong, I learned how to get along. That's it, this whole song goes like that. And then for the solo section, it's just kind of a lot of rhythm. There's stuff that happens like. So for the, you know, for the sections you're not singing, think of the rhythm and try to do something. You can do anything. Anything to kind of add in and fill it in. So that's it. It's a fairly simple one today. And that progression just runs over and over. And if people know it, double your verses, do whatever you got to do. Uh, they've got the, uh, there's the one expletive in there uh, that Gloria Gaynor doesn't do. Cake does it. I do it usually, but either way. So gauge it, pick the best of both, whatever fits your environment and, and your crowd you're going to be playing for and, uh, and go for it. So thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, folks, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.